Mr. Speaker, Honorable Senators, with regard to the first request, which I understand to mean that when they were photocopying, some pages were left, we are going to examine that and see what was served on us and what those pages that are now being introduced uh, contain. With regard to summons to ask individuals from the Anti-Corruption Commission to come and give evidence. Moshimua Speaker, Honorable Members, we draw your attention to Article 50 of the Constitution, which is a fulcrum of a fair trial. And this Honorable House is executing a quasi-judicial function of the most weighty nature regarding the removal from office of the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya elected by the people of Kenya. Nothing would be more prejudicial than to call witnesses whose statements or affidavits we have not seen. The whole purpose of affidavits and witness statements is to enable the other side, in this case, the deputy president, to seek legal advice, to give instructions on how best to respond to it. And this rubber house has fixed two days for this trial. And one of the issues we'll be raising is these allegations, and you are going to go through them, against the deputy president, suspicions, conclusions, on matters that we are never referred to DCI in Kiambu Road, who are trained to investigate these matters. Nothing was referred to the Anti-Corruption Commission or any of the other investigative agencies, including money laundering. We strongly object and ask that the record of this honorable house reflects that if this is permitted for the National Assembly to call witnesses at this stage without first furnishing us with their witness statement and affidavit, the case of the deputy president will be irredeemably prejudiced. So we object very strongly to that application. Council for National Assembly. Mr. Speaker, sir, in brief rejoinder to the objection by Landed Senior Counsel for the Deputy President. Mr. Speaker, sir, in the invitation to attend that was extended by this House to the National Assembly, the invitation included a request as to a list of witnesses the National Assembly required summoned. We responded to that request. And Mr. Speaker, sir, all we seek is a confirmation that our response has been actioned. What the uh, Learned Council for the Deputy President is objecting to is not our request, but really it is a response to a request made by this August House. I'm most obliged. Council for Deputy President, do I get it that you have no problem with the first request made by the National Assembly? Mr. Speaker, we would want to see those pages. And that time we'll be able to say yes or no. It is the second one. Clark, has that document been made available to the Deputy uh, President's uh, team? Kindly, in the next uh, few seconds, make it available so that we make progress. Honorable Senators, if there's any Senator who has not gotten that document, you may also
let the chair know so that we supply you with uh, that document. Senator Mazzaio, Senator Olekin.